Hi. So here we have one of the very simple problems based on combination and permutation and this problem is called handshake problem. So here I am going to take two variations of handshake problem. We will solve each of these problems one by one. So the first problem says a party is attended by n persons. If each person in the party shakes hand with all the other in the party, find the number of handshakes. So here we are going to find combination because if we have two people named A and B, if they shake their hands with each other, irrespective of the person who makes the initiative, that will be counted as one handshake, right? So whether A makes the initiative or B makes the initiative, it actually does not matter. That is why the number of handshakes made in first party will actually be N C 2 because at a time only two people will be making handshakes. Right? So, NC2 will be the number of handshakes between n number of people. And in the second variation, there is a very small trick. So, let's read the second statement. Second statement says, there are n married couples attending a party. If there are n married couples, then the number of people who are attending the party will become 2n. Right? Because there are n number of couples and each couple will have two people. Each person shakes hand with every person other than his or her spouse. Find the total number of handshakes. So if each person is shaking hands with every other person, then the total number of handshakes will be 2n c2. But in this case, each married couple is actually not shaking hands among themselves. So how many couples are there? There are total n couples. That means there are total n handshakes which we have to discount. And that is why we are going to subtract n out of 2nc2 which otherwise would have been the normal number of handshakes between 2n number of people. This will be the total number of handshakes when n number of couples are attending party and each person is shaking hands with every other person other than his or her spouse. Right? So these are the two variations. As I told you, it is a very common and simple problem. And if we solve these two expressions further, so let me erase all these extra things. NC2, which is the answer for the first case, can be written as N factorial divided by N minus 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial. The formula for NCR is actually equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial divided by r factorial. So using this formula nc2 can be written as n factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial. n factorial can be written as n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 factorial right divided by n minus 2 factorial and 2 factorial can be written as 2 and then if we solve this n minus 2 factorial will cancel this n minus 2 factorial and this will give you n into n minus 1 divided by 2. What is this? Yes, this is the nth triangular number. If you want to understand more about triangular numbers or polygonal numbers, you can search for the videos in the channel. And if we solve this one, what are we going to get? 2nc2 can be written as 2n factorial divided by 2n minus 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial and this minus n will come as it is right this can be written as 2n multiplied by 2n minus 1 multiplied by 2n minus 2 factorial divided by 2n minus 2 factorial multiplied by 2 minus n this will become this 2n minus 2 factorial and this 2n minus 2 factorial will cancel each other and this 2 will cancel this 2 and we will have n multiplied by 2n minus 1 minus n or this can be written as 2n square minus n minus n or it can be written as 2n square minus 2n which can be written as 2n multiplied by n minus 1. So this is all for the combination and permutation and after this we are going to go back to the probability. So keep watching MathSmart and bye bye till then.